Hi, I'm Lori Micah, and today I wanted to show you a little quick, easy polymer clay transfer technique. Uh, this is different than what I show in my book because I found over the years that it is easier to do it on the raw, unbaked clay. It's a more successful thing. So that's what I'm doing. And what I have here is a piece of raw, unbaked clay, just white Sculpey 3 polymer clay. And what I'm going to do is take this image right here and transfer it onto this to create a beautiful tile. Uh, so this is a laser, uh, a, it's a copy that's done on a laser. Uh, which works a little bit better than inkjet. I have done inkjet, but it's a little bit iffy. They're always iffy, you know, even under the best of circumstances. So we'll just give it a whirl and try, see what happens. So I'm going to add a little bit of Mod Podge to the front of the image, and it's a gel medium, just a real easy peasy technique here, and just kind of put that coat the front of the image. And then I'm going to lay it down onto my clay, like this. And then I will let that sit for about 15 minutes and let it do its magic, OK? And you can kind of, if you have something to burnish it with, you could burnish it. But you want to go lightly, because this is uh, soft clay, because it's not cooked yet. So. Okay, that's it. So we're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes. And then when the 15 minutes have gone by, you'll end up with your image like this, and it's ready to start the transfer process, or the removing of the back of it. So you want to take a little bit of water and dip your finger in it and coat the back of the image with water. And you can start to see the image already appearing like this. Now, the problem that people usually run into is that they get too excited, like I do often, and you just want to hurry up and remove all of the backing. But it's a real slow process, and you need to just work it slowly like this until you start getting the paper rubbed off. And this process takes a good 10 minutes, so you don't want to hurry it. You want to just slowly continue to rub off the layers. And sometimes, if you're lucky, they come off in a big sheet. But usually, you're not lucky, and you have to sit here and do this for a long time. So we're going to just keep doing this in a circular motion. And pretty soon, you'll start to see the image appear. OK. So we're just about there where the image, you can see it, has come through quite nicely. I have one little area right there where I kind of broke through. That's what you want to avoid when you're doing this. So you, you want to make sure that, as I said, you're taking your time and going very gently to remove all that. But this is pretty good, and that's about where I want it. I have a little thing that I do that I'm not sure if it really works or not. But I like to use a little bit of Mod Podge or interior varnish and just coat the image like this. And then we're going to bake it. And then you can cut. You want to leave this on here and not cut it out until you get to this point. And then you can cut out your image like this using a clay blade. And then you would go ahead and bake this in the oven uh, as directed on your package. Usually I bake for uh, in a 275 oven for about 20, 25 minutes. And then when it's done, then you can finish off the edges by coming around and adding just some paint and rubbing it into the edges. And even coming over the image if you want to have it uh, look like a hand painted appearance on it. So that's the easy transfer me method. And I hope it works for you.